For this example, we're given the line up above, and we're given some measurements for different segments within that line. Right? If BF is equal to 29, so I'm going to go ahead and connect B and F, and that is 29. And we are told that BE is 52. So that's 52. Find EF. So we want to find EF. Well, EF would be that little piece that we have left over, right? When we look at the the biggest part, that would be BE, and that's 52. And BF sits inside of it, and FE sits inside of it. Specifically, point F is between B and E, right? F is between B and E. So that means that BF plus um, FE is equal to BE. And BF we're given is 29. Right, FE is the same thing as EF. So I'm just going to rewrite that. Um, and then BE we're given is 52. So if we're solving that equation for EF, the segment measurement that's left over, we could subtract by 29. And you might not necessarily set up an equation like this to solve, but as long as you show in some way your work that you're going to take 52 minus 29 to get your answer, that's what matters. Right? I wouldn't want to just see your, see your answer and that's it. I'd want to see you took 52 minus 29 to find out that EF is equal to 23. And if we had units with that, we would include the units, but for right now, EF is equal to 23, and that's it.